Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to you on the very last day of fall, and this is episode number 25 of Mountain Valley Farm, and this is more or less the finale here. And I'm walking over here, and I don't really know why, because our pickup truck is right over here. So today is the big day. Today is the day that we're going to be selling all of our harvests that we have worked so hard uh, for over the last, uh, well, 24 episodes. Oh. Looks like we're going to need to... Uh, Looks like we're going to need to do some maintenance on this truck before we go down there. Not a problem. Let me just make sure that was the case. Yep, maintenance required. All right, so we'll pull in our truck over here, and we will do some maintenance. As a matter of fact, i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to park it right here, and we're going to take advantage of all of that hard work that I put in in getting the toolbox mod uh, here into this map. So I had placed the toolbox mod, and of course I've got to think... I've got to thank my dear friend, whoops, as I twirl it around, did I drop it? Uh, let's grab the toolbox mod. So I got to thank my dear friend Eustace Farmer uh, because he helped me uh, a long time ago, uh, many, many weeks ago. Uh, he helped me basically uh, do this, um, uh, or at least coached me through Left Alt R to repair we'll do the maintenance three hundred and forty one dollars so basically you know oil filter uh, change of oil uh, maybe some other um, some other things there like some spark plugs maybe some spark plug wires uh, stuff like that okay that'll be fine we'll just let it fall to the ground all right so anyway we'll get started back here with this episode I, I wasn't uh, necessarily that wasn't scripted um, in the uh, in the thing uh, in the in the program, but uh, nonetheless, we got to do it. We got to use the toolbox mod. I can't remember if we had used the toolbox mod uh, before. Now, um, just in our little storyline here, um, I had worked with our um, our our cell point, uh, our dealer, uh, grain uh, distributor, or whatever you want to call him. Um, been talking to him the last several weeks, and and basically letting him know that. Uh, we had both wheat, barley, and canola, plus soybeans, and of course he and I struck the deal to go ahead and sell our soybeans right out of harvest, so basically he got those uh, right off the combine, uh, literally, and of course we did that in the previous episode, I believe. Uh, I am a little bit confused because I'm, I've been playing um, I've been playing Snetterton for the 24-day challenge, and so even though I haven't been doing any harvesting on Snetterton, it's kind of a little bit blurry as to exactly when I harvested the soybeans. But I think we did that in episode number 24. So anyway, I've been talking to the grain dealer, and the grain dealer was all prepared to essentially um, take the harvest on this day. The last day of fall was what we had arranged. And um, he had a driver get sick, um, and of course we cannot, uh, we've got snow coming tomorrow. Snow is in the forecast tomorrow. They've been talking about this uh, pretty much nonstop on the local weather channels and everything. And so what we've had to do to sort of uh, help out the dealer, and of course the, the driver that is sick, he actually does not live in this town. He lives out of town. Um, and so his truck, and it's his truck, and it's his trailer, and it's his tipper, and all that kind of stuff. So we've essentially had to lease a truck and a tipper from our lovely, friendly dealership here. Um, and so we have this here. And so we're going to go ahead and get in, and going to go ahead and um, connect up to the tipper here. And uh, as I try not to run into it, because I turned a bit sharp there, I was looking the other direction. And we are going to, uh, uh, again, try to back up to it and connect to it. Let me zoom my camera out where I can see what in the world I'm doing. So you might recognize this truck. I think this is the truck that we essentially uh, uh, utilized for all of our logging efforts and stuff like that. So uh, it's a good, uh, good truck. And so we're going to go ahead and head back to the main farm. And uh, we're going to be in the process of, of moving down our grain and everything and selling it. And that's really what this episode is going to be. Uh, I want to maybe provide some final uh, comments about uh, this map and uh, what I've enjoyed about it and, 
and all that kind of stuff as we kind of reminisce over the last uh, 24 uh, 25 episodes so as you remember especially if you are if you're just coming on to this episode or maybe you know obviously if you started kind of uh, halfway into the series and, and when you get to this episode um, you know I do encourage you to go back and watch the early episodes of this series uh, because this was uh, back in Farm Sim 15 there was a map called Hard Working and it was something that I played around with uh, for a little bit and um, did it pretty much the way that the the mod uh, developer of the map intended it to be played I kind of started off and, and played in what I call career mode you guys know I like to to throw that word out there um, a lot and what it really means is you know basically starting from uh, scratch almost at, if you will and playing the map as the author uh, had intended it to be played and of course with hard work in back in the FS15 days we had to essentially start um, with uh, pretty much nothing uh, we had to I think I think there was maybe one field I think there was one field that had something on it uh, that had a crop on it uh, but I think that pretty much from that point uh, on uh, we had to pretty much do everything else. We had to cut down some trees, we had to clear stumps, we had to uh, do that kind of stuff. So this map come, uh, you know, comes along. Um, Mr. Mark DuPont, who uh, I consider to be a friend, um, I saw his, uh, I saw him playing this map, and let me, I'll, let me back up just a little bit because I need to set the, the context for that just uh, a bit. Uh, I was introduced to Mark DuPont's channel from uh, my dear friend Eustace Farmer, who I just mentioned him just a few minutes ago, and the fact that he helped he helped me uh, or sort of coached me through how to add that um, how to add the toolbox mod to the to the map because I didn't I don't know anything about modding uh, at all whatsoever, and so uh, hopefully we're under here. Good, all right, we are. We'll save our wheat for last, so we'll pull that uh, full load last. We'll go with uh, with canola fill up with canola so anyway um, and I'll try to make this story short uh, but it'll probably just come out um, long anyways so um, so yeah so Eustace Farmer introduced me to Mark DuPont's YouTube channel um, Mark DuPont had when I stumbled on his YouTube channel he was about halfway through his gameplay on Mountain Valley Farm and he was playing more or less the same version of the map and at that particular point in time uh, the map was sort of considered to be in beta it may even still be in beta from that respect I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, but it was an earlier version of the map and uh, I believe the hard the extra hard version has been updated uh, once or twice since the point in time that I actually got my hands on the map and so I watched Mark DuPont play this and this was this was kind of along the, the around the time frame that I was juggling um, between law folds and kind of wrapping that series up and that was a great map and um, also playing Lone Star and so um, I got those maps I got pretty much Lone Star set aside to to do this map and so I just really liked what Mark had done with the map uh, starting to clear the trees and all that kind of stuff so um, I started doing a let's play on it and the only real change that I did was I sort of incorporated my own storyline my own kind of way of, of playing and and even though I haven't played the series um, ultra hard meaning that um, I haven't taken the the steps that like Mark did for example by basically starting with exactly what had was given to him as far as starting equipment and everything was concerned uh, I did put some equipment in we know that we started the storyline with uh, my grandfather uh, owning this land and of course it had to be he had sold it um, and everything to help pay for my college uh, tuition I had fond memories of growing up coming out here and visiting on the on the farm from time to time and, and that sort of stuff and so anyhow um, let's see and we'll go um, so anyway so my goal was to sort of repurchase the farm 
and did that but of course the farm had grown up because granddad had had passed away many years ago and there were uh, lots of pine trees growing in the areas that he used to plant his fields and then he had some fields down below uh, just that just next door here where we had planted our soybeans and those fields um, he had leased those fields out but uh, the folks that he had leased those fields to had decided not to really do anything as far as farming uh, was concerned and so uh, we did manage to go ahead and buy those fields this season and um, and get those fields planted in soybeans so obviously that is uh, uh, we'd already sold those in episode number 24 but yeah so I think I cut down a little over 300 trees um, on this map to define the fields uh, what I refer to as on top that's up next to the main farm there and we had four fields that we cut out of the of the ground there um, basically a wheat a barley and two canola fields so we've just sold the canola that's come off those fields and we'll head back and we'll get our barley and and then we'll uh, save the the large amount of wheat we had a pretty good yield on the wheat crop um, got it and so along the way we have done a lot of different things on the map um, Oh, let me let me back up just a moment here. So, yeah, so there was, you know, um, Old Guy Farmer had placed uh, quite a bit of um, uh, rustic looking uh, stuff around the map. Um, what uh, what my what my father would call junk. Uh, and this is no um, this is nothing against Old Guy Farmer at all. Um, but my my father taught me as a young kind of as a young child that and especially growing up in Texas, uh, we didn't have a lot of uh, junk laying around our farm uh, or around our land that we that we lived on, which actually, when I first, uh, my first early memories of growing up as, you know, being four, three, four, five years old and such, uh, we actually lived on my granddad's farm. So that actually is true uh, to, to a certain extent. That really kind of matches up with, with real world uh, stuff as far as my life is concerned. Um, but um, in any event, um, let me go ahead and fill up with barley. So, um, so yeah, so, but my dad had taught me more or less that, you know, you don't leave stuff laying around um, any sort of um, busted down machinery or whatever. If you can't fix it and make it work, basically sell it. So uh, when I got the map, um, downloaded the map and everything from uh, Old Guy Farmer's website. I went in with Giants Editor and created, basically created two maps. Um, the original version, which is kind of what I started with level with uh, episode zero, kind of the startup. That was when we came in, there was snow on the ground, and we had just bought the farm, uh, just basically got the farm back from uh, the, the folks that had, um, that had owned it before and uh, step back into the gameplay and everything and so um, and then the second version of the map the map that I'm actually playing I had gone through with Giants Editor and deleted some of that whole farm equipment so that was what kind of produced some of our starting money but then also um, in the series the source the storyline and everything I had sort of leveraged the my college uh, experience I, I, I was an older older gentleman uh, maybe in my in my late 50s early 60s early retirement type scenario and my wife and I wanted to get out of the city and live a little bit smaller life get away from the larger life that we had that we had lived that I had earned um, a good living with um, I believe in the construction business was what I told you all and so uh, we come here to Mountain Valley Farm and we invested a great deal of money in getting equipment and everything to do logging because obviously that was the first thing we had to do is we had to get rid of all those trees that had grown grown up on granddad's farm and um, so we did that and that was about 300 trees that we cut down and um, and so then we started plowing our fields because obviously we had to uh, define what our fields were going to be and now let's sell our barley and we did that, and that was a lot of fun. We got our fields defined, we plowed them, we uh, seeded them. We basically uh, did this series uh, with one tractor, uh, which is somewhat 
somewhat odd for me. Um, I uh, typically, at a minimum, um, will have at least at least two tractors as a minimum. Uh, oftentimes, maybe three. I think on law folds we had we had three, I believe, tractors, maybe four. Uh, I can't remember now. Um, so, but here on this farm, we pretty much did everything ourselves. Um, I don't think that we ever brought a helper in um, with this uh, with this map with this series. We did pretty much everything ourselves, and uh, I've quite enjoyed it. I've quite enjoyed it, and I and I want to thank I want to thank Old Guy Farmer, um, Mr. Jerry Ott, for creating this map. Uh, I have. I always have a very special place in my heart for those who give of their free time to help extend the game play. Um, you know, and, and Mr. Jerry Ott, Stevie, Bullet Bill, Oxygen David, those guys that I tend to enjoy their uh, their maps. There's no difference. Um, you know, they all they all give of their free time, and uh, I'm so appreciative of that. And uh, I've quite enjoyed my time on this map. We've done everything. We've uh, we've mowed uh, to basically get grass and, and obviously hay for our cows. This map only had one animal type on it, which um, I found to be somewhat relaxing, especially after sort of coming from uh, coming from law folds, um, where um, where essentially we had a whole bunch of different animals. Well, we had all well law folds. We had pigs and no, we had sheep and we had cows on law folds. Um, but I tell you what, I wish I had this manure on Snetterton Farm. Um, I do, I do, I do. But anyway, uh, we're just going to pick up these eggs here and go ahead and sell eggs while we're in town. So, um, so yeah, so this is a this is a wonderful map. Now, this map, from what I understand, and I, I never I never downloaded and, and checked out the other version of this map, but there is a there is a standard version of this map that has the fields already predefined. I think it has a few more cell points uh, and everything. I know that Doughboy2913 uh, had started a series on that version of the map, uh, so you might check that out and see uh, if you're interested in something like that. And I think that this map may still be available in the hardworking um, um, version where you've got to cut the trees down and all that kind of stuff. So. So definitely uh, look into that if that is something that you want to play. So now we've got 50,000 liters of wheat to load up. And I think I will take advantage of a screenshot here. And there we go. Fifty thousand two hundred and forty-seven liters of wheat. We will go ahead and cover. Oops! I tell you what, I need to do. I need to make sure that my camera is in the right position before I start getting outside of the cab there. But yeah, our cover is on, and let's head on down to the store and sell this last remaining uh, bit of uh, bit of wheat here, and then we'll turn in our truck. basically sell our eggs and we'll head back to the farm and basically we've got obviously um, not going to be per this is the last episode this will wrap up the series uh, this will wrap up this map um, but obviously uh, we would be prepared to start getting all of our equipment and everything uh, maintained for the long winter so doing doing somewhat maintenance on our combines and cleaning everything up and uh, of course, tending to animals, and the reason why I'm ending the episode here at episode number 25 is because, well, 25 is kind of a significant number, um, and uh, the other thing is, is that, well, I'm quite busy with the Snetterton Farm series, and coming off of the Old Guy Farmer challenge with all the snow and everything like that, I'm not really ready to do things with winter. Uh, plus, there's not a whole lot to do other than just maintain our animals. We've got plenty of hay. We've got plenty of straw. We've got, um, obviously, today would be the last day that we could 
uh, cut grass and feed grass to our cows and so we've already done that and so um, you know to be quite honest we're just um, we're just gonna wrap things up because of the harvest and I think that's uh, probably a good thing to do I think it's a good place to end this series and um, we will now go ahead and sell the wheat So just over $450,000 that we've got in our bank account. Now we'll go ahead and go return this truck and this tipper to our dealership. And of course I'm very appreciative of the grain company there buying our grain. And I'm, it's a bit unfortunate that uh, obviously that, um, uh, that the guy got sick and everything. So let me go ahead and return this and I'll be back with you and we'll have some final thoughts. All right, well, they have taken uh, the truck and tipper back, and they went ahead and moved it on around wherever they store. That's such a thing. So we're going to get back in our pickup truck, and we're going to go ahead and go over here to the diner for one last time and sell our eggs. I'm not real sure how many eggs we managed to uh, pick up. I don't think we've sold eggs for a little while, so we probably have uh, quite a few eggs in our basket. Uh, that might be a few hundred dollars I'm sure. So we'll jump out, we'll go around back here to the egg buy point or egg sell point and sell our eggs. There we go. $473 worth of eggs. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Gotta love these fall trees. I just absolutely love what the Seasons Mod does to uh, maps, and of course, I'm very appreciative to folks who, uh, especially the the map modders, the map creators, and everything who incorporate um, who incorporate the Seasons Mod into their maps. Because obviously, the Seasons Mod is a thing that uh, I think if you haven't tried it yet, you certainly need to. Um, I will just give you a little few pointers. Don't try to insert the Seasons mod into an existing game save. Uh, so you will, you should, uh, for best of luck and also to prevent any sort of growth problems. You want to start a brand new map uh, with Seasons mod. So basically when you, when you load everything in, whether it's an existing map that you've been playing, just basically start the start it over. Uh, so load your map, get your mods, select everything that you want. When you bring up the map for the very, very first time, go into um, hit basically Alt S and go into the season settings and set the game day. You know, if you want to do three game days, six game days, nine game days per season, I would recommend uh, six or nine game days. Um, just for the best uh, play. Obviously you could do 24 game days if you wanted to, but I wouldn't suggest that you do that your first time out with the Seasons mod. I would suggest maybe six or nine. Um, three would be fine. Obviously we played um, we played a lot of maps. Uh, we played Law Folds with three game days per season. And that worked out fine. But I think that the six game days per season is probably the best thing from the minimal approach with that. And then load up the map. Uh, again, hit Alt-S to bring up the season's menu. And then go in here and basically set your... Uh, now, this is the older version of the, of the season's mod because I had been playing with this map already. So set your season length here and then set your temperature scale however you want that to be and then you're going to be good to go. So I just want to say thank you again to Old Guy Farmer for creating this map uh, and making it available for all of us to enjoy. And I would like to thank Eustace Farmer for his, not only for his friendship, but his, um, his guidance, his coaching, and his uh, uh, instruction for helping me to not only clear off some of the um, old uh, relics and stuff that was on the map, because I really didn't know how to do that either, uh, but also his uh, guidance and instruction on how to insert the toolbox mod and um, and just his friendship in general. And just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have watched this series from the beginning. Um, obviously, what I'm going to be doing is this, again, is going to be the final episode of this map of this series. 
and then I'm going to concentrate on Snetterton Farm, the 24 game day challenge uh, gameplay for a little while. Um, probably I probably need a, a couple of weeks to kind of get um, some of that, get caught up with that, and then may look into uh, another map to do another, you know, sort of the Grizzly Bear Sims way of doing a, uh, a series. It won't be 24 game days. Um, Trust me, I think 24 game days, the challenge is fun, the challenge is interesting, the challenge is a challenge, I will tell you that much, um, but I don't think that it would be something that I would do, uh, it wouldn't be anything that I would do for a series, um, just because I think it's just too too long, uh, too many game days per season, and I think probably 6 to 9 and playing at, you know, 10, 5, 5x, maybe 15x speed if it's 9 game days uh, works out quite well. But anyway, thank you all to each and every one of you who basically came here and joined me on this series. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate the friendship that many of, uh, of uh, all of my viewers, subscribers of YouTube uh, have shown to me. I really do appreciate that. And um, I would encourage you, if you'd like to play this map, to play it and play it however you want to play it because obviously you know what I say there's no right or wrong way to play these simulation based games you play them the way that you want them to be played um, and I just appreciate you guys watching these uh, these episodes and I'm gonna basically say goodbye and close out the series of course um, you know behind the scenes my virtual character would be working hard to get ready for this winter snow that's coming and everything but we're gonna leave things right here and just uh, appreciate the fact that we had such a lovely map to play and again um, kudos to old guy farmer I my uh, to, kudos to the modding community uh, to all together because um, they have really stretched this game out for all of us uh, uh, with these maps and these these mods like the, the pickup truck and and such as that so I'm very appreciative to all of those guys so from Mountain Valley Farm this is Grizzly Bear Sims also known as Jerry I appreciate you watching my series and having fun with me along the way and uh, please tune in to my Snetterton Farm series I'm still giving away three copies of the upcoming Giants uh, Farm Sim 17 Platinum Expansion DLC pack. That thing looks amazing, um, by the way. I've been seeing some gameplay video from that, and if you haven't seen those, go check it out yourself. So thank you all so much again for watching, and um, please come back and watch another video here and there. Check out my course play tutorials, and also please click like and please click subscribe if you're not. I really appreciate that. It really, really does help. Take good care of yourselves and each other. God bless you all. From Mountain Valley Farm, this is Grizzly Bear Sims signing off. Take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.